Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. So now we are entering into the next phase of programming of Java tutorials, control structures. So far we learned about how to write simple Hello World program, data types, and we learned about operators, and we learned about operator precedence. So all those things will form your foundation. And from now, whatever we're going to learn uh, will give you some uh, real good idea about how we have to write some programs, how to write some business logic. So from here, it's all important that you should keep practicing in Eclipse IDE and see how the output works. So now in this module, we talk about control structures, a high level overview. From the next module, we talk about uh, in depth about each control structure and you have to practice it from the next lecture. So make sure that you have Eclipse IDE installed and keep practicing from the next module, right? So with that, uh, let's get started. Now, when you're writing some program, you need to take some decisions. Now, let's take you are working on a uh, something like a retail retail project where if a person buys three quantity, you have to give 30% discount. And let's take if a person buys quantity as four, you have to give 40% discount. So in this case, based on the quantity that customer has purchased, you have to take some decisions. So you have to your code control flow should travel either based on the discount should be 30 if it is quantity 3 if it's 4 the uh, the uh, quantity discount is 40 percent so you have to take the control and you have to decide uh, which logic you have to write so so that logic deciding factors and decision making steps comes under control structures now control structures are categorized into two types one is branching where you want to take a decision based on something. If this is if this quantity is four, four, give the discount as 40%. So if the discount is three, give. So if decision making comes under branching, if there are multiple options, like if the person buys two, give some discount. If the person buys three, give some discount. If the person buys four, give some discount. If something above five, give something discount like this. So. In switch case, if you have multiple uh, options and then get better to go to switch case, we're going to see that as well uh, in, in detail in the further modules. And also we talk about con conditional operator. So all these modules or all these uh, um, topics that I mentioned here comes under branching because when the code flow is happening based on the condition, you select one option. Again, based on the condition, you select one option. So this looks like branches of a tree. That's why these are called branching. Now looping means iterating same task multiple times. So a for loop, let's take I want to print hello five times. Or while loop, same uh, where you need, you need to loop. So again, some people are here calling if as a loop. So if someone says like if loop and is wrong, if is not a loop, if is just a condition, if the condition is satisfied, it will just uh, print the statements inside it. Otherwise, it will skip the statements inside it. So if is not a loop, so never speak like use if loop there. You have to use if condition. When you're saying for, you can use definitely loop. It will iterate multiple times. While will iterate multiple times. Do while will iterate multiple times. So these are called looping concepts. So, so conditional or control structures are two types. One is branching and looping. And we'll talk about more this branching and looping in detail in the further modules. So let's see um, what is branching on a very high level. So branching. Branching is used to select one option from multiple options for decision making. For example, a simple example, I want to check whether the given number is even or odd number. So I'll write here if n modulo 2. So modulo 2 is used to see the reminder. So if let's take there is number 6. If 6 modulo 2, and I used to check equals to, I'm not using double equals to, is zero. Now obviously six smaller to is zero. If it is satisfied, I'll print even number, else I'll print odd numbers. So this is called branching. So only one we are doing it in this. Now we talk about what is um, looping. Now looping is used for iteration purpose. A simple example could be, I want to print hello five times. So where I'll write a for loop from one to five and print hello, hello, hello and it'll, it'll actually print five times. We're going to see examples when you talk about for loop in detail in further modules. And second example could be, I want to find some of n natural numbers. So I'll write a loop from one to n, and I keep on adding that number to the sum, so to find the sum of n natural numbers. So here we are iterating, we are adding sum n times, one plus two plus three plus four up to n times, so we are using a loop here. 
and similarly to check whether the number is prime or not so you have to divide the given number from 1 to n keep checking whether the number is divisible by 1 2 3 4 like that so again this is also a trade to purpose so these are some of the examples where we'll use looping so branching is a decision making looping is a trade to purpose and in the next modules we talk about in detail about each one in branching and looping so i hope you got some clear idea about control structures what is branching and what is looping and what we have inside branching like if if else else if else if else if and all and we have a switch case and we have conditional operator and uh, in in looping we have for loop while loop and do while loop so we're going to discuss in detail in further modules so thank you and see you in the next module